All right, so I upgraded to MicroStrategy 2019, also known as 11.1, .1, and in this video, I'm going to take you through that upgrade process coming up. All right, so the first thing we're going to do is we're going to download, extract, and open the MicroStrategy executable. That's going to bring us to the welcome screen. And then that'll bring us to the license agreement where you'll accept and also click next. And the next screen is where you'll choose your components you want to upgrade. Now, this is my personal installation, so I have everything on a single server. Um, if you had your, in the normal environment, you ha might have your web server on a separate server, your intelligence server on a separate server, so you would install, upgrade those separately. So I can just go ahead and click next. And this next screen is just telling me that um, these services need to be stopped before they can be upgraded in order to proceed. Obviously, we'll just click yes. Next screen is just telling us that it's going to back up our system definitions, blah, blah, blah. Just click OK. The next pop-up is just telling us that it's going to upgrade Apache Tomcat. So that's fine. For my case, I'll just click Yes. The next pop-up is just telling us that Health Center is no longer a product and it will be uninstalled. And then we'll click Next. The next screen just talks about whether you're in a single machine or multi-machine clustered environment. In my case, I'm in a single machine environment, so I will choose that and click Next. Again, talking about clustering, just click Next. Doesn't apply to me. Next screen talks about activation. We'll click Next. Now you choose your server type. Is it production, development, training, etc.? So click Next. And here I'll enter my information. I'll skip over this. Do I want to activate? Sure, why not? Click Next. This next pop-up is important. It talks about um, that it found an existing web and Narrowcast installation. So do you want to create a new configuration? In most cases, in your environment, you would probably want to click No here because you're going to probably want to preserve that configuration, especially if you're just upgrading your environment. Uh, in my case, it doesn't really matter. Next screen just talks about upgrading the tutorial projects. Um, if, if you choose yes, it will overwrite anything. So if you have anything in there you want to save, you'll click no here. Otherwise, if it doesn't matter, you can click yes. Up to you. Now on this screen, I chose to automatically restart my computer. This way I don't have to babysit it. And finally, we can click install. At this point, MicroStrategy will now do its thing and begin upgrading your environment. It will probably enter a reboot in which case you'll have to log back in so that it can then continue uh, the installation procedure. Now once the installation is finished and you open developer, you may get a message like this telling you that your project was created in an earlier version and needs to be upgraded. Now what you need to do is you need to open the MicroStrategy configuration wizard, choose upgrade existing environment, click next, then choose in intelligent server components, then click next. Enter your logon credentials, click Next, in which case it will retrieve the information. You will choose the project you want, click Next again. Now you may get a message if your metadata is Microsoft Access. You may get this message here telling you to change a few settings. I'll show you how to do that after, but you can just click OK and then click Apply. And MicroStrategy will do its thing and upgrade the project. So lastly, here's where that setting is. Go into your ODBC settings, click Configure, click Advanced, and then search for Extended ANSI SQL. Change the Extended ANSI SQL value to 1, and then search for your max buff buffer size. Change that to 8192. Click OK, and your MicroStrategy upgrade is now complete. All right, so that'll do it. Please don't forget to like, subscribe, and hit the bell. And also check out jamestechtips.com for more BI-related content. And thanks for watching.